this particular problem which appeared in JEM in 2023, here we are asked for, we are having a value lambda and we are having two quadratic equation. So alpha beta are the root of this first quadratic equation and alpha gamma are the roots of the second one. So therefore alpha is the common root. And then by uh, applying some uh, quadratic equation properties and all that, first our job is to find alpha beta, alpha gamma or some relation between them. And then we need to find out a quadratic equation whose roots are 3 alpha by beta and 4 alpha by gamma. And that's it. So let's go ahead and solve this particular problem in the solution section. Let's proceed. It is given that alpha beta are the roots of this equation 14x squared minus 31x and plus 3 lambda equal to 0. So we know that sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a and product of the root is c by a. So therefore alpha plus beta is equal to 31 by 14 and alpha beta is equal to 3 lambda divided by 14. That's it. Let's go ahead and take alpha gamma are the roots of this equation 35x squared minus 53x plus 4 lambda. So therefore alpha gamma is equal to 53 by 35 and alpha gamma is 4 lambda by 35. Let's rename them as 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, to just uh, for convenience. So now if we subtract 1 and 3, we can get beta minus gamma is equal to 31 by 14 minus 53 and 35. So if we do some basic arithmetic, we get the value as 7 by 10. Now if I divide 2 and 4, we get that beta by gamma is equal to uh, 3 lambda 14 and 4 lambda by 35. And if we calculate, it's 15 by 10. Let's put them as equation number 5 and equation number 6. Now from these equations, our 1 to 6, our job is to calculate alpha, beta and gamma. So that's why first we concentrate on equation number 5. So if we concentrate on the equation number 5 and we divide both sides by gamma, we get that beta by gamma, the minus 1 is equal to 7 by 10 gamma. Now we, if we concentrate on the equation uh, 6, we know beta by gamma is 15 by 8. So therefore 15 by 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 divided by 10 lambda. So you can calculate the left hand side and by doing little bit of cross multiplication we find that gamma is 4 by 5. So that's it. Now when gamma is obtained by the equation number 6 we can easily obtain beta is equal to 15 by 8 multiplied by gamma substitute the value gamma is 4 by 5 and beta is 3 by 2 straightforward. Now we go to the equation number 1 and beta is known so therefore alpha is equal to 31 by 14 minus beta which gives me as 5 by 7. So therefore we obtain by solving the equation 1 to 6 alpha, beta and gamma values and that's it. So when we alpha, beta, gamma value is obtained our first step is done. So let's go ahead and go to the second step. We consider that x1 is equal to 3 alpha uh, by beta. Alpha known, beta known. Let's substitute and calculate. So x1 is 10 by 7. Let's calculate that x2 which is equal to 4 alpha and uh, gamma. So therefore alpha is known, gamma is known. So therefore if we substitute, we calculate that is 25 by 7. So therefore our job is to find out the equation whose roots are x1 and x2. So therefore, we can find out the equation as x squared minus sum of the roots x1 plus x2 into x plus product of the roots that is x1 and x2. So now if I substitute the appropriate values, right, we get that as x squared 35x, 5 by 7x and 250 by 49. Now if I multiply both sides by 49, we get that 49x squared 245x and 250 equal to 0. And then it is very obvious that for this particular problem, option B is the correct option and that's it it's a very straightforward problem hope you understood it thank you